Oh my gosh, they're going to woohoo. They are not supposed to be woohooing yet, y'all. They are just out here together, really enjoying their alone time. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're watching Just a Mom, The Sims. I'm KT, and I'm here today for another Herd Family Legacy Adventure. So, if you like to have fun and you like a good story, please consider liking, subscribing, following, commenting. Just do all the things. That's right, this is a Sims 4 Legacy Series. So I'm starting the episode out. You saw Carmen. She's going to sleep. And Kaden is here feeding little Michaela. Then everybody's kind of doing their own thing. I don't know why Milo's just standing in here. But she's going to mop now. Because it is just a little bit dirty. This is her aunt Carly. Who they're close to the same age. Carly should be aging up in a few days. And then I've got. Oh my gosh. Cameron glitching out. <laughs> he is over here. He doesn't have to go potty bad. But I am going to go ahead and send him. I'm going to get Myla to do some cleaning around here. We have not seen our maid in who knows how long. I do have these sleeping bags that I'm going to put in the inventories. We've got a couple of goals for today, but let me get Kaden to pick up the baby because what he needs to do is work on her for crawling she's gonna age up in a couple of days and i would love for her to crawl we did get her brother crawling clement frost no we don't want to go to the flea market today because we do have some plans i'm just gonna queue him up to practice crawling with her a few times in a row and maybe she will finally get it cameron oh my gosh he needs fun i'm gonna have Milo come and play with him because he needs some movement skill, and that's the only skill he has left. He wants to potty train a toddler, and so does Carmen. And it's like, your toddler is potty trained. Let's teach this little girl to crawl. And once we do, then maybe she can age up and then get potty trained. They are always wanting to do something. Our goals for today are, today is family and friends day. I, that is a holiday that I keep in my game, especially on my legacy series usually. Today, we've got to grill. We have to hunt for eggs we should shoot some fireworks visit some friends what we will probably do is art and music spirit so i think what we'll do is maybe go to leland's house with the entire family oh my lady i'm gonna have her grill and i'm sorry my dolls are going looney tunes you know i think it would be cute for her to do some burgers which are bear burgers but that's family and friends day but the other goal is it is to have a romantic date because kaden has planned something very special for carmen he's gonna take her to a beach date in oasis springs and i did go on the gallery and find a cute renovated beach so we're gonna go to that today it's gonna be awesome let's check on myla because myla has caught herself on fire a time or two those burgers look delicious these bear burgers are part of uh, the granny's cookbook i did update recently and got some new recipes as always i think we can call to meal yeah those are amazing they even have the cheese is like a tongue almost under the nose like that's cool oh my gosh our little girl and you know what she's actually kind of hungry again so let me get her mind back up and let's try to breastfeed she did have food earlier it's fries on the plate once they get their serving i love it love granny's cookbook my i don't use a whole lot of mods but that's one of them that i keep carmen is up she is going to try to breastfeed this little girl but we've got picky eaters in the house she didn't want to breastfeed she's so picky i'm going to get her mom to feed her you see all of her food she's unsure about <laughs> <laughs> we'll feed her ice cream she'll like that they always like ice cream the girls are talking about woohoo so i don't know if the well they're actually niece and aunt not cousins but they are the same age and you see they got quiet when carmen got over here i'm just gonna queue up some conversation let's get excited about family and friends day but those are the two goals for the episode family and friends day and then the romantic day the romantic day will happen tomorrow when carmen gets off of work she is at the top of the political career but she will get at 3 p.m so they'll go on their date around five is the goal hey carly you know you have to sleep on the couch you know what if i put the sleeping bag out can i assign it to her let's see no i can only set up for a pillow vice i think we could put it here carmen's gonna get herself together once the house gets a little sleep they were up super late if you have not been watching Carmen's mother Lena passed away they had a funeral last episode it's been a complicated time let me have her calm down because I cannot have Carmen leave us honey I, she's been mood swinging she still wants to have a child Carmen wants to play thumbs up this is her baby sister share some kind of words with her and we can play thumbs up let's actually play with both of them but they're all just gonna kind of reseat themselves they're gonna play the clean version of thumbs up 
<laughs> this is the face of frustration, like when you're playing charades or something and nobody can get what you're doing. <laughs> The kids are looking really good, actually. Carmen's looking great. Kate is looking great. I think this game is like a perfect game to play on Family and Friends Day. You can learn traits about the players for thumbs up as well. So we've learned that Carly is cheerful. I thought about something because I said that I was going to make my little basement apartment. I thought about her and Carly being roommates. Carmen and her sister Liliana were roommates. Now, that worked out horribly, so I don't even know why I brought that up. But Carly and Myla are like best friends. So I think that it could be okay if they they did this i'm going to have myla get up while everybody's preoccupied and she's going to make a friendship bracelet for her aunt carly okay they're almost done playing thumbs up it'll be kind of late to go out but they're gonna do it so i'm gonna have carmen just hunt around the house real quick for some eggs i think the kids are as good as they're gonna be so let's actually go ahead and travel the family is here in tamarang and they are visiting leland myla's gonna go up and knock on the door bring the baby inside katie i admire your skills i truly hope i can be like you one day oh thank you carmen gets these types of calls as a politician i think that she could talk it through with somebody because their style is to talk about problems a lot i hadn't been over here so i had to swap out everything who the heck is sleeping in this bed carly is that carly 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 does not care not carly came and got in her brother's bed and went to sleep the baby is wet too so let me let him finish feeding her and then he can change the baby's clothes we always take a diaper bag with extra clothes so no worries okay she's good but she's cautious so she always she does not like strange places it is one in the morning though come release this steam vent here's Leland and brandy because we really were supposed to be talking to them here the siblings together right here and they're just talking and they're reminiscing they are something like besties they're not declared best friends but definitely they love each other so much and she's gonna compliment Leland's kindness because they are our triplets and especially after the trouble with her and her sister they really appreciate each other even more i think hey what's been going on in your life cameron he put the toy up in the toy chest i just kind of wonder where his little cousin is is she in the street still oh she is out here i mean i guess she's okay but goodness gracious, why is she in the gym in the back? Myla is getting her little sister, Michaela. Michaela is a fuss box. She likes to fuss. She's having her stand up. <laughs> they are so cute. Carmen is going to come over and talk to Brandy, her sister-in-law. Brandy has done a lot better. But Carmen did see Brandy's daughter that she abandoned at the funeral. I think she would bring it up. So she's just going to talk about family dynamic. But it's four in the morning. And they really need to leave here. So she's just saying, hey, Brandy, I saw your daughter. Do you think y'all will ever be in relationship? Brandy, she's shaking her head. She's not saying much. But she's like, I thought about it. And Carmen's just telling her she didn't think it's too late. And Brandy is saying she doesn't know how to reach out. She didn't see her daughter there. But Carmen did tell her that her daughter looks just like her. Once they finish this conversation they're gonna head on home because oh milo's tired like everybody and brandy just got sick oh my goodness so yeah let's all go home let's travel and brandy's getting an attitude so we'll be back <laughs> The hers are home and actually Myla needs to be at school soon. Carmen needs to be at work soon. We got a fussy baby in the crib, but she should go to sleep soon. Our toddler is asleep. When the hers go out, they go out for so long. Look at her fussiness. But once Carmen goes to work, trust me, the kids will keep Cameron busy all day as he is a house husband. What time does she have to be at work? Eight o'clock. So we don't have a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is have her go for a jog so we're gonna follow carmen for her job and she's gonna go to work today because she hasn't in a while she is so far along in her track i feel like we've done all the tasks that we could do it does she have the gym rat trait okay so i just got her the gym red tray because she is in the workout club she could benefit from that and then before she goes to work let me kind of see what else she has i feel like carmen doesn't have the matriarch tray she's actually in here getting warm because it's quite cold outside she still got this fear of being cheated on it pops up so this one comes and goes she doesn't have a matriarch tray so i'm gonna go ahead and get that for her carmen's been thinking about a mom makeover and getting high metabolism it shouldn't make her skinny like i don't want her and she's earned these curves 
hours with these children. So Carmen has gone to work. Milo's about an hour late from school, so she is getting up and heading out to school, and we'll be back. Kaden is up. You know what? The kids are still sleeping, so I do think that Kaden could go for a jog. Oh, Kaden, I think you got another outfit. Kaden is sexy, but he needs clothes on out in these streets. It's cold out here. <laughs> there's our, um, oh gosh, there's Liliana's talking to a child. She's probably bullying the kid because she hates kids. Oh, and I see Carly went out for a jog too, so she really followed our lead. I was thinking that that might be our maid that we haven't seen in ages outside of our house. It looks like her, so Kaden is going back this way, so let me get behind him so I can see. Yes, this is our maid. What is she doing out here? I'm going to reset her and maybe she will actually go clean something. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Our baby girl is up. Kaden needs to harvest and we. Hey, Carly. Carly, you are supposed to be at school. Myla was discovered playing games on her phone when she should have been listening to the lesson. Let's just do a warning and Kaden will definitely talk to her when she gets home. Our little girl is hungry. Let's try yogurt today for our little picky eater. <laughs> she is being such a good girl in her crib, not being fussy. You know, she's really a good baby. I'm gonna have to wake our boy up because he needs to go potty. She's still hungry, so let's try to give her a bottle. I know how she is, but let's try again. Okay. Okay, she did it that time. I think we should practice some crawling. Oh gosh, that is Milo's homework book. So I need her to put that in her inventory. This is day night. And Carmen will be home soon. But let me get Carmen ready. Milo is a picky eater now. Not a teenage picky eater. Are you serious? Gabriel's calling her brother Gabriel. She didn't get to see him yesterday on Family and Friends Day. So she is going to talk to him. And then she could talk to her father, K.A. Milo is getting herself together and doing her homework. Kaden, he's going to see if he can come help Milo with the homework. They got about 15 minutes. But she seems like she's nailing it. But he just wants to check in. He was able to help her finish. So we're going to pause here and we'll be back on their date. Carmen and Kaden are on their romantic date. I'm going to zoom out because this is a lot that I downloaded from the gallery. And it was made by Ella Funt 446. That's Ella like E-L-L-A Funt Elephant 446. So it's called San Simoleon Beach Reno. Yes, Carmen loves physical intimacy. So she basically renovated this beach. I'll do a quick spin before I zoom back into them. I like this little area here, the picnic tables, more than one grill, thank goodness. Is. this looks amazing they are here and they are this lady has on a style by carmen's late mother who was a celebrity stylist they are looking good they're flirting and we've got lots of things that they really need to do on this date Oh my gosh, they're going to woohoo. They are not supposed to be woohooing yet, y'all. Birds flying out the bush. I didn't even know this bush was over here. They're getting it popping early. Let's be through this because we're gonna already need to extend the date. So let's see if she can ask. So this is a romantic date and we are going to extend the date. They are just socializing, but we can knock things out simultaneously. Let's go ahead and small talk. He's just saying that he was nervous to woohoo in a bush, even though they public woohooed on the street before. <laughs> Carmen is getting a little hungry. We're going to go ahead and watch the stars. And after we do that, we can share our donut drops. And we can do that first before we worry about food. Because Kaden is not very hungry, but Carmen is. She's been at work all day. He's going to go ahead and share the donut drops here. And they're just kind of standing behind their woohoo bush, you know. But they are very happy with each other. And just in oh hey then <laughs> i do like to see that they can still fumble because you never get romance perfect even though he is a level 10 they both are oh uh, they're like donut holes but specially sprinkled different flavors it looks like that's pretty nice and carmen they bought her hunger up quite a bit they're gonna come right on over their socialization is looking really good they are sitting here and stargazing we are looking through cadence eyes actually at the stars and it is it is beautiful here. Oh, this couple, honey. It's an age gap here, clearly, but that's not our business. We're going to get back up to the stars in the sky. He just loves his wife. He loves her. He's so glad he met her, especially at a time in his life. He's told her about it, but probably not to the extent that it was, but he was really kind of feeling hopeless, and it wasn't because he didn't have a girlfriend. It was because he didn't have family. If he's being very honest, her brother Leland probably saved him first, but the and Carmen came along. They actually have some more donut drops. So they are sitting down eating those, even though they need to be doing some more things. Like, 
done definitely had some more things planned. They also now need to swim and take a photo. I think that he will get them swimming next. They're going to go ahead and swim around together now. This is all part of their date goals. Kaden has taken off with Dal Carmen. Oh, there she is. They are out here just in the beautiful, clear Solani waters. Let me get Kaden over here because the next things can be done over here. Carmen's actually going to take a picture of Kaden because she's just thinking that her man's looking really good out here in the moonlight on the beach. So we're going to do a couple this way. Something he's always wanted to do is kiss her really kiss her in the ocean and so <laughs> he just lovingly dip kissed her it's where they are i'm gonna zoom out you have these little land outcroppings across from the beach that's where they are and and purposely they came over here to get some privacy so Kaden's gonna put the blanket down in the world they're gonna watch the stars a little bit more i'm definitely gonna just cheat their bladder all the way to the top because uh i don't even think there's a pea bush over here they are just out here together really enjoying their alone time because being real the kind of active parents that they are they don't get a lot of time like this they are just here just kind of snuggling up but i want him to set up a picnic they are eating together and uh, unfortunately carmen did get a call it wasn't good because what she found out was that one of her good friends died which carmen has so many friends because of her politician career but it made her think about death and she's thinking about over here death is inevitable and those types of things he got a little more roast for her her fun level is down they can just talk and she is gonna make a conscious effort to try to change the subject to talk about interest and things like that because she does not want to mess up the date night because she knows that her man really put some hard work into this and actually carmen's getting a little cold carmen is wanting to extend the date this time and we did let's put this in our inventory her fun is low they've been cutting and snuggling and more time has gone by they are actually at a silver medal they are just getting kind of flirty and they are out here on this island alone they got kind of some privacy and space to actually woohoo they're just having a blast and you know what that skyrocketed carmen's fun they should take a picture and this time kaden's gonna take it we did take some pictures together this time let's put our blanket back in our inventory he does want to kiss her and they are actually over here slow dancing kaden did feel the shift in her so he is going to build her up and look at the moon over here it's the details for me in the world he's building her up they are actually swimming back they got gold and i think the last thing they should do is play woohoo and that'll meet the i think that'll meet the board game requirement carmen's gonna work from home today they are at gold and they've got island spirits here Hayden is just wanting to kiss carmen one more time and he's grabbing her up and you know <laughs> there's many women who loves it when their man is strong just grabs them up honey <laughs> so he is he's just giving her a hot kiss while these sounds work in circles behind them we could actually just change venues let's go home it's kind of cold Hayden and carmen are back home and they are going to get on in the house to their babies Hayden <laughs> is really tired so he's probably going to go ahead and go to sleep Carmen is too and she actually needs a pregnancy test. Myla just went out to school so they got back and that was the thing they needed to get back before Myla left to go to school. Carmen is also going to go ahead and she's going to cancel the maid service and hire them back so maybe they will show up again. Oh uh, our kids are talking. <laughs> Carmen is going to have to get the baby a bath because what she's going to do is do some sleep replacement and then get right back out there. As we watch our babies this this is where we're gonna leave our episode. <laughs> it's been beautiful. Next episode, we'll have Winterfest. And also, we will be edging up baby Michaela and our little toddler Cameron. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, remember, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.